Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you Ripple recording in Reaper. Now, the idea of Ripple recording is very similar to Ripple editing. We're in Reaper. We can go up here to this button, hit it once to turn on Ripple Edit per track or twice for all tracks. And what that's going to do, if we move our items, everything to the right of what we moved is going to move with it, creating space or gaps to add new audio or closing gaps to the left. And if we delete an item, it moves everything to the right over. Or if we copy and paste an item, it moves everything over to the right. Very useful for voiceover or narration or working with video. And Ripple recording will work a similar way, where we can punch in or record at any point, and Reaper is going to make a space for that recording, moving everything over to the right. Now, this solution was created by a user on the Reaper forum. Right over here, I think it's pronounced a Magma. And here's the custom actions he created. I'm going to change it up a bit as he used some SWS extensions that we're not going to. So let's take a look how this works. Let's go to this section over here where I have some voiceover. A trusted and proven solution with in depth source monitoring. Let's say we wanted to add some narration or voiceover right here. We skipped a line. What we would do is put our cursor right here. Let's go to our action list so we can see the actions. Show action list. Let's type in split cursor. Then we can choose this action right here. Split items at edit cursor, no change selection. And we could run it. And that splits the item right at the point we want to record. Then we're going to add a marker at this point. If we scroll down, we can add a marker, marker 10, at this point. Now you should keep in mind, if you're using a lot of markers, this is going to replace marker 10. So you might need to find that marker and renumber it to a different number. So let's trigger this action, which has the marker right here. Then we're going to move to the end of the project. Right over here. This way we're out of the way during recording. This is the end of our project. Then we'll go to transport record and we'll choose this action here to record some more voiceover. But we need to split this up into two separate custom actions so we can stop record separately when we're done. Let's try it out. Let's hit record and get my voiceover artist ready to talk. And then we'll stop and save all recording media afterwards. English Prime is used by top businesses from around the world. So we'll stop it. And here's the piece we recorded. Then we're going to cut it. Cut items. Then we'll go back to marker 10. Right here, go to marker 10, which is that space where we wanted to insert the audio. Then we'll paste the item. But instead of choosing this action, Let's choose this one. Insert time on tracks and paste items, which is going to behave like ripple editing, even if it's turned off, which saves us an extra step. Trigger this action, and it pastes it right here, moving everything over to the right. We're probably going to have to tweak the punch, but it should work perfectly. A trusted and proven solution. English Prime is used by top businesses from around the world. With in-depth source monitoring, they also benefit from comprehensive reporting. Perfect. Before and after. So I've already set up two custom actions to do this. Ripple recording A and B. The first one performs these actions. It's going to split, add a marker, Go to the end of the project and go into record. 
while the second one comes out of record and saves the media, cuts it, goes back to our marker, pastes it while inserting time, and then I added these two options to keep it cleaner. Unselect all items and all tracks, just so it looks cleaner at the end. And I assigned two keyboard shortcuts for it. One to go into record and one to stop. I have this section right here where I want to insert some voiceover. Put my cursor at that spot, hit the keyboard shortcut, and get my voiceover artist ready to talk. Hit it. English Prime is used by top businesses from around the world. Stop it. And it places it right in between these two items, right at the cursor we chose. And again, we probably want to clean it up afterwards to make it tighter. A trusted and proven solution. English Prime is used by top businesses from around the world. With in-depth source monitoring. Perfect. This will also work if you want to punch in on the fly. Let's say we want to punch in right here, but the voice of an artist wants to hear this line going into it. It'll still work for that. Let's give it a shot. A trusted and proven solution. English Prime is used by top businesses from around the world. And just like that, we punched in that line. A trusted and proven solution. English Prime is used by top businesses from around the world. With in-depth source monitoring. Now, if we want to combine these two custom actions to one, we can do that as well. I already created one right here. Ripple recording with prompt, which has all the actions put together, but I put this action in between recording and stop. And that's going to put up a dialogue while we're recording, where we can hit enter to trigger the second half of the action, using a different keyboard shortcut to trigger the recording. A trusted and proven solution. English Prime. Notice the dialogue shows up. From around the world. Hit OK. And then it stops recording. And it puts the item right in between the two, making the exact space we need to fit it in. And again, we're going to want to tweak it afterwards to make it perfect. A trusted and proven solution. English Prime is used by top businesses from around the world. With in-depth source monitoring, they also benefit from comprehensive reporting as standard. So we can use either option we choose, either two custom actions or one with a prompt to come out of record. So that's pretty much it. That's Ripple recording in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks.